Welcome to Land Academy. This is the Cash Flow from Land Show, where we show you how to buy unwanted vacant land and sell it for more on the internet. I'm Steve Butella. I'm Jill DeWitt. We, we are, are your hosts. hosts. With over 15,000 completed transactions, we are the experts in this niche land flipping business. We hold a drawing to win a free property every month. Enter to win by reviewing this show on iTunes and downloading our free ebook at landacademy.com. All right, let's get this show started. Hey, Steve Butelli here from Land Academy. Welcome to our Cash Flow from Land Show. In this episode, Jill and I talk about our relationship. Not because I want to <laughs> at all, but people keep asking us about it. So I'm going to use the show to answer some questions in the hopes that we they discontinue. <laughs> Uh, I would like to know, well, first of all, this title cracks me up. <laughs> Couples therapy, here we come. <laughs> that was great. Who's asking? So I don't get those questions. A, really? Well, I shouldn't say that. I do get some, but no one no one asks me outright. It, they kind of dance around it, and then I don't even, I don't That's what I'm acknowledge about. it. I just kind of say, yeah. We Probably will. have a lot of practice at that by now. I am very good at that. No, I write these titles, and uh, if you've ever listened to the show, that I write the titles, and they have nothing to do with the show at all. So we can just the title is just designed to get them to click the play button or listen button. Okay, good. So I <laughs> just, really don't want to have to get into all this. Thank I'm you. just joking. No. <laughs> oh my gosh, you are the best person I have ever worked with. Ever. What? No, I mean that. I you're trying to get out of going to therapy. That's one. Nice. Totally. Just kidding. There's no therapy. <laughs> I in know. Our there's no therapy. So no, you No, are, this show is actually, I don't want to, well, go ahead and keep complimenting me. Let well, me here's how I take this show. I take the show. Um, as just a funny play on words slash, um, talking about working with a partner and a business partner and the, the, not the pros and cons, but the ups and the downs and why a business partner keeps you in line sometimes, well, at least for me, you know, and reminds me the things that I'm good at, the things that I'm not good at, you know, what to focus on sometimes, what to not, what to outsource, let it go. Um, and so I look at it about things like that. Yeah. I think there's been a lot of points along the way. You kind of hit on this like last week. It stuck with me for some reason. I don't even think you, you even remember saying it, but, you know, when there are rough times, and we, we've been so lucky, there has been so few. When mm -hmm. there's rough times, you know, you just have to kind of sit there and say, you know, this is just a little thing. It's it's we're true. all going the same direction, and we're going to we'll work it out. So that's that's always the case. You know, I think that there's a few systematic things that we put in place in the last few months that really, really, really make this really click and work. Mm-hmm. Having separate offices works for me, you know, um, taking separate cars to work to our office. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of things like that, that just keep this a little bit more separate and professional when we're here than, uh, you know, than in the social part of our life. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, Sometimes Jill falls asleep during a podcast. Oh, that happens. right now. <laughs> <laughs> Jill loses interest very quickly. <laughs> That's a whole nother one. We that's a, that's a funny topic about. Um, I can tell when you're bored with something right away. I mean, immediately. But it, you could see my eyes gloss over. Just yeah, you're <laughs> thinking about something else, and you know that actually just happened. That's true. <laughs> what were you thinking about? You used to say that. I haven't heard you say it in a long time, but you used to come and say, "I'm going to try to do my best to do this in sound bites and keep <laughs> your interest." And it would be, it would be, we're in a boardroom having a meeting kind of thing, you know, because we have a conference room. And we're in there, and, and and you would say you would say that. I know it's so. I think I, I think we've come a long way. I know we've come oh a long way. Oh my gosh! In in how we communicate. You know, we're just and, talking about Land Academy, not Land Stay. You know, Land Stay has always been. You know, I the way that it used to be. It's a little different now because we're pressed. We're we're all constantly working harder than we used to. I reel the property in, you close it, we get it all, other people close, uh, get it all prepped up and you, cl and you close it. Mm -hmm. And it was very separate. Mm -hmm. You know, the, that's, that's the point. You know what? That's the point I'm trying to make. I just try, there's a bunch of stuff that you do over there for Land Academy and Land State and I don't even know about it. And nice. it just works and I have blind trust. And in this very infrequent event where some stuff gets, goes sideways, 
you know, the whole thought process that I have in like three seconds is, yeah, you win some, you lose some, and she's killing it over there in general. Mm-hmm. So I, I hope this, that's the case over here. Oh, absolutely. I, I hope you know that. I'm sure you know that, that I have blind faith in you. I know what you're good at, and I know if how to, you know, the things to leave you alone. Um, I know that uh, any future business venture that you uh, – um, consider that you're going to do 18 to 20 hours, maybe more yeah. of research on it. Yeah. By the time it gets to you. Uh huh. I know that. I by love the time that. It, if and when it gets to you, which is very infrequent, it's I'm ready to, it's, that's it. Yeah. You're about to pull the trigger. Yeah. Um, and you want to, you know, a, let me know, Hey, heads up, here's what's coming or B, Hey, do you see anything I missed? Which is great. You, you're good about asking me. Yeah. You know, what do you, you know, last things, here's where I'm at. Can you, can you add to it? You know. You know what a lot of guys my age see? I don't know if this is ever going to make the air. Uh (laughs) (laughs) Uh-oh. I'm really worried right now. They see their women or other women and just treating them with indignance. Like, oh, you could never do that. You know, you can never start a land business. You just stop thinking about that. Forget it. You know, just be this, at the root of it, it's just like they just don't believe in them or there's no trust. You know, and I, I totally believe in you and I completely trust you. Same here. So talk about deflating. And this is the apples. Uh, this is couples therapy. This is it. I guess we are having couples therapy for other couples. I hope we're having them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a show. Good show idea. Wow. You don't have to go to therapy. You can just listen to us do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> On the brink of divorce. <laughs> We have a show for that. <laughs> Here's what we've seen. Our whole point to this new show is to have you say this to yourself. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, or yeah, why or maybe are, it's not that bad. Why can't you be like Jill, honey? <gasps> oh, <laughs> that, you know, like don't you're, do you're that. Kid, when you're like you're a kid, when your mom would say that, why can't you be like John, honey, and get a good grades? Right. That actually happened to me. Right. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm just joking. That's really, I'm, I'm so sorry. I never had that. I know. Cause you're Disneyland. Thank you. I was always, I was always, you know, it was funny growing up. I was always off doing my own thing. I think I was kind of an entrepreneur doing my own thing for a long time and no one ever realized what I was doing, but I'm off creating my own little thing. My family really didn't pay much attention <laughs> and I'm not sure they do right now. <laughs> No, they don't. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> Do they know where you live? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my uh, my family is pretty uh, pretty wrapped up in their own uh, things, and they're Jill's. You know what? Jill's is off doing something over here. We're not quite sure. Some land thing. I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of people listening to this right now, and they're asking themselves, "What the hell does this have to do with real estate?" <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what it has to do with real estate. <laughs> Um, get your, get everyone in, here's what I think it has to do with real estate. Get everyone in your life as well as you can on board and on the same page. for a while. Because it is that a, important. That's a chick point of view totally. No, well, no I mean, I think it's, it's good. It's, it's important. If your wife's not on board, we did a show called how to convince your wife that this is something you want to do. Right. Like, and we talked about one of our members who had to f- do a quick deal just to show his wife, look, I can make money doing this. And she said, okay. She, I mean, really made him, you know, do one, just one to prove that, prove it, the system to her. And she said, okay, now I'm in. And you know, now that was a while really ago. Happy. That was, was a long time ago. ago. And we, I've noticed, I'm sure you have too, that that is happening less and less and less. Mm-hmm. The validity. So what ended up happening is that I'd like to think that we kind of exposed, exposed this little niche thing to a lot of people that I think a lot of people brushed it off and said a couple of things like this. Who the hell would live out there in the middle of nowhere? Right. Why is it so cheap? Mm-hmm. There, there must, must be, be something, something wrong, wrong with, with it. it. <laughs> and I hope that we're dispelling that by now. This is 105 shows or something like that. And I don't know how many members that, you know, we 16,000 transactions that we've done aren't flukes. <laughs> <laughs> we had 16,000 one-offs. <laughs> 
people do want to live way out of the It'll hell It'll never the happen they again. Do. We won't get 16,001. I don't, not I sure. I personally <laughs> am not one of those people who wants to live out in the middle of nowhere, but there are tons of people and more and more are finding us and buying this property as fast as we can buy it from us. And, you know, and yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. I, there's nothing wrong with this property. People who own it just don't want it anymore. I have something to say. There's a home show coming to town like in the next couple of weeks. And I was – I the home show advertising has a whole new twist. It's not about putting a pool in your backyard and redoing your lawn and your an awning or whatever. It's all about tiny houses. They are, no way. I am not kidding. Joe, we should be a. Uh, I know that we're going to talk about late? that. No, it's not too late. All right, I'm going to get us at that show. Okay, we should be a presenter. We should be at that. We, you know, we should bring the mics and do shows and stuff. Oh, we right could. There. Well, what I was going to do is talk to the tiny house people. I thought we could just even go and talk to some of them, but. Thank you, but and it's coming up in the next two weeks. I want to say so. You got it. You need the land to put the tiny houses on. Weekend, we'll have to figure that out. I just heard it last weekend, but the whole marketing campaign. See, this is what I'm talking about. That I would have seen a commercial like that and have flip brushed over it and said, uh, "I hope Jill doesn't make me go to that." That would have been the first. Like, I don't want to go to that. Thank you. In fact, I'm just going to put a baseball hat on on Saturday and do nothing. There you go. So no, it's a good business venture, and but so. So what I was saying about who wants this land, I mean, it's ugh, get over it, everybody. It's it's everybody true. Everybody wants it. You know, and I think a lot of it has to do with the Internet. I think that uh, p- people ha- – there are a lot of people who have jobs just on the Internet. It's a work-from-home situation. And if your home's in the middle of nowhere with a satellite, you know, it's not middle of nowhere, in a beautiful setting in northern Arizona or anywhere you can dream up, northern Michigan or anywhere – and the piece of property that you're living on, you paid two thousand dollars cash for. Your satellite uplink to the internet's just as good as the one in Manhattan. So, mm-hmm. and we're and we are seeing tons and tons and droves of, of buyer end user buyers that are, mm-hmm. are looking for this property. Exactly. They're all at that show. Yes, that's a great idea. Is it too late for us to get in? Did I, you look into it? No, I I will is I will in a little bit. So I just wrote that down. It's a great idea. So I really think it's coming up this weekend. So I'll figure that out. All right, so at the very least, we'll just go to it. Mm-hmm. We're going to and do some recon, recognizance. Recon. Recon. There we go. Recognizance. What? <laughs> I know recon. What's <laughs> so. Reconnaissance is recon. Recognizance, I, know. Is, I think, is, oh, okay. uh, <laughs> is rethinking something. Well, I'm going to recog this. Welcome to the little Disneyland world in my friend Jill's head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> what, what have I gotten myself into? So you know how idiosyncratic stuff, but if you don't know what idiosyncratic means, it's like the stupid little things that somebody in your life does that, you know, you want to kill them for. <laughs> Jill doesn't have any of those. She has like cute little things. And somebody told me that since this is a stupid show about couples therapy or oh, some dumb boy. thing, somebody told told me that's how you really, really care about somebody is when you like their stupid <laughs> I mean, stupid <laughs> stuff. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, well, there it goes. They run our G rating. I'll edit that out. I have a, actually have Thanks. a bleeper on here. Oh, that's good. Thank you. So I'm trying to think, what else is good? Well, when you say couples therapy, because it's important business partners. Um, I know we have some members that are doing it with brothers and doing it with wives. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure they're going to come across some of the same obstacles that we have when you're that close and you don't know each other that well. It's hard to sometimes separate business from, you know, from outside of business, let's just say. So, and you have to, you really have to. That was my point in bringing some of that stuff up that we've worked out earlier. Like it really helps me to work in a different office and to work in, you know, for a long time we were in different buildings and that really helped too. That was nice. And then, um. Now with our show and everything, we have to be in our studio. We have to be – I don't want to drive same, to it every day. Same building. So I'm not driving to the studio. Now we have to have it here, but that's You know, okay. a lot of it, Jill, is we're just lucky because you love talking to people and you love the whole social customer service aspect of this. I really – I thought it, I thought you were joking about it at the beginning because I'm like, who the heck could ever want to like that? <laughs> but you really do. <laughs> I think you really truly do. do. And I love the whole data weird geeky thing. Right. So that's just, it's just, we're all going the same direction for different reasons. And that seems to work out for some reason. Are we, it's hard to find this. I'll agree to find people that have, um, like you just said, complimenting talents and, right. uh, 
similar goals uh, in business and in life is I, I hate to think. You know what? The, I bet the odds are lower than winning the lottery right now. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? No, I, mean, I don't know. I doubt they're lower than that. Okay. Because I don't think there's any higher odds than winning a lottery. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's 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 but you can get there. How about that? That's what it is. I was just going to say the same thing. It and it's you like get anything. There. You just can't stop. Mm-hmm. You know, whatever it is, you got to work it out. Can't kill care. each other. Can't stop. You just have to make a commitment and work it out, just like any business, anything. Mm-hmm. And I know we have. I know that we have members that are couples. One I'm thinking in particular, they were um, very, very successful um, real estate yeah. couples. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, and they decided they they retired. They it was so great as they retired from their day to day real estate thing. Like we're not showing houses or showing properties anymore. They had a ranch and they sold it, made a ton of money. Is uh-huh. that the same people uh-huh. we're talking about? Exactly. And now they're transitioning to this, which is perfect because they love to travel and do their thing, and they're not done. You know, and it's they can do this, and I'm sure they would weigh in that. I bet it took a lot of uh, work to get uh, mm-hmm. to the point where, like we are, we're you know a pretty smooth running operation. You know, the other thing, Jill, is they you you have your own companies. I have my own. That's true. We separate stuff a lot like that. I keep saying separate because men have a thing in general about just all one big ball of wax, mm. and it's just easier. And for a lot of reasons, if it's that way, I like it maybe too. mentally. Oh, do you do too? Okay, sure. Good. I like having my own companies, my own side ventures, and, and your own employees and all that. My own employees, mm-hmm. my own LLCs. Okay. You know, all all of that. It's uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I think it's 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 uh, important to have your own identity and your own separate. Right. Things. Hey, join us in another episode, which I promise will be more meaningful than this one, where Jill and I discuss your all-important success in land investment and in life. I think that did exactly what it was supposed to do. Good. I'm glad. (laughs) When I saw the, when I read the title, I was kind of wondering, where is he going to go with this one? Which is often, (laughs) which is kind of fun. I'm sure that, you know what? I'm sure that I have the same reaction as people Then they pull it up on their phone and they go, where are they going to go with that one? That's my, that's what I'm going for. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. And then they listen to it and they're disappointed. Yeah. (laughs) And they go, oh, that's not what I wanted. I wish those people were more interesting. (laughs) Or more fun or more happy (laughs) or something. Or just had something positive to share. (laughs) (laughs) let's go buy some property we hold a drawing to win a free property every month enter to win by reviewing this show on itunes and downloading our free ebook at landacademy.com if you want to get involved or you need more information about our profitable niche real estate operation call 480-467-0359 you just might get jill at the other end of the line landacademy.com You are not alone in your real estate ambition.